Samantala, iminumungkahin ni Pangulong Duterte na armasan ang ilang sibilyan kontra krimen. Ang Commission on Human Rights tutul dito. Balita hati di Mav Gonzalez. Payag daw si Pangulong Duterte na bigyan ng armas ang civilian volunteers para tumulong manghuli ng mga kriminal. Sinabi ng Pangulo sa paglulunsad ng Global Coalition of Lingkod Bayan Advocacy Support Groups and Force Multipliers, isang koalisyon ng civilian organizations na tutulong sa polisya sa anti-criminality at police community relations programs. I will order the police. If you are qualified, gun and help us enforce the laws. Do not simply say that you are beginning an arrest. What tapos wala kang ikaw ang mamatay and you are not you are not supposed to die. Yeah, the criminal is must must die. Pero paglilinaw naman ng pangulo. If he goes voluntarily with you, good. That would be the ideal setup. But if they are, they, they resist arrest violently, then you have every right also to do your thing, commensurate. You are not supposed to kill a person when he is down, lying, kneeling, begging for his life. Sabi naman ni Commission on Human Rights Spokesperson Attorney Jacqueline Digia, batay sa konstitusyon, iisa lang dapat ang police force ng bansa at ang PNP ang kinikilalang law enforcement arm ng gobyerno. Sapat na aniya ang PNP. Baka raw lumala pa ang sitwasyon ng karapatang pantao sa Pilipinas kung humantong sa kawalan ng batas at pagkalat ng armas ang pag-aarma sa mga sibilya na walang tamang training, kwalifikasyon at malinaw na accountability. Naniniwala raw ang CHR na kaya na panatilihan ng PNP sa pamumulong Muno ni PNP Chief Police General Guillermo Eliazar ang peace and order ng komunidad. Pagsisiguro ng PNP, We assure them that the President's suggestion is to encourage voluntarism and definitely not vigilantism. And the suggestion made was aimed at ensuring their own protection. But with an assurance that they will undergo the rules and procedures for civilians to possess and carry guns. Mav Gonzalez, GMA News.